Hi everyone, this is Ty Williams, how everyone is doing today. I just watched NST yesterday. And by the way, good show, good matches. Um, same thing as AEW Dynamite. Good show, good matches. But I have to talk about this. I don't trust Io Shirai. I do not trust her. It is something about her that she got something under her sleeve. For her to give a title shock contract to Rafael Gonzalez, that tells you something she got a plan. Even when um, Dakota Kai came face to face right in front of her, Ildurai just look at her and move away from her. And you see Raquel Gonzalez just looking at Ildurai like, okay, I see. And, and you look at Ildurai's face she is sizing up Raphael and what and what she is like doing right now the way I see it I feel like she is strategizing something and lots of people on the comment section saying that oh Dakota Kai gonna betray Raquel Gonzalez. I smell a betrayal of Dakota Kai betraying Raquel Gonzalez. You guys want that. You guys want to see that. If that happened, that don't make no sense. Think about it. Long-term story booking. You have Dakota Kai and Rafael Gonzalez win the Dusty Woman Tag Team Cup. They got shrewd over their opportunity. Okay? And then they got shrewd again. In NST Woman Tag Team Champions against Emma Moon and Scott and Scotty Shotty Blackheart. Okay, and now is your ride giving Russell Gonzalez a title shot? So I understand what people are saying. Like, I smell a portrayal coming between Dakota Kai and Raphael. Um, There was this interesting uh, um, booking from someone who wrote it on the comment section saying that Io Shirai beat Raphael Gonzalez. And that's when Rafael Gonzalez snapped and attacked Kota Kai. And I was like, that makes sense. But, hear me out here. It would be so interesting that Il Shirai knew... She couldn't be Rafael Gonzalez. And she need assistance from these two women that defeat them in NST. And those two women is Shayna Baszler and Nyla Jax. When I say in the beginning... Long-term 
story storylines and booking. And Ears Arise is a badass wrestler, but she can be a very cutting and brilliant and smart woman to do something like that. To have Ears Arise. To play devil's advocate with Shayna Baszler and Nia Jazz, and for her to do that, that will bring more depths in Io Shirai, like make her like the top villain the top heel because yes she's bad ass but you can tell she is a anti face but need to be a a full fledged heel since triple a sign this new japanese woman wrestler And I'm I'm sorry for I'm, I'm sorry I forgot her name, but everybody is talking about her, and for her to come to NST, I could see Io Shirai is losing her insanity. She already is a zane, but for her to go the extra mile. To get help from Shayna Baszler and I Jazz, it fits the story of Raquel Gonzalez and Dakota Kai because she knew deep inside she cannot defeat Raquel Gonzalez, and she needs someone to help her to defeat Raquel. And Raquel is, like, cool. You know, I like Raquel Gonzalez. I like Dakota Kai. But for her to do that, that will make great sympathy for Dakota Kai and Raquel Gonzalez. Like, they always get you over. They always have bad luck and they slide. It's like the world against them. And you will understand Raquel Gonzalez and Dakota Kai's story. It's like they always fighting to get respect and to get what they want. But they always get the end of the stick. And I think this is a deal breaker or a game changer for Io Shirai versus Raquel Gonzalez. It's up to what NST gonna do with the story. Because to my opinion, I feel like Irish Rai got something under her sleeve. And that that will make her champion again. Or remain champion. But either way I feel she got a plan. And by the way, there was rumors that Triple H gonna do a female fashion in NST, like a female woman fashion. And that would be dope because we never see a fashion in woman wrestling. No, fashion. In WWE, I'm sorry. Fashion in WWE like that. Like some of the woman fashion sucks. But for Triple H plan to do a fashion in NST. It's something gonna be a good one. And I have that feeling. So. 
tell me what you got fake think in the comment section i really want to know could you think yoshirai will get help from the outside or you think Regal Gonzalez are going to snap and attack the Kodakai or the Kodakai betrayed Regal Gonzalez. But to me, I think that the Kodakai and Regal Gonzalez will not going to be disbanded, not going to break up. I feel like somebody going to attack both of them. So, and plus they got enemies. So for Ears to Ride to get some help from the outside, yeah, because I have a weird feeling that Ears to Ride gonna build her fashion because when she had her fashion, when she was in stardom, she was badass. So. For her to, I'm just, let me shut my mouth. I gotta go. This is Ty Williams. Good day and goodbye.